Hey what's up everyone this is Techno Linux and uh, this is the video on, in which I'm gonna show you how to install the Samsung Galaxy S5 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and this is only for the international variant of Samsung Galaxy Note 2 that is the N7100 so if you are having an international variant of Samsung Galaxy Note 2 go ahead and follow this procedure and you will get this awesome ROM of uh, the Samsung Galaxy S5 now I've already installed it but I'm gonna install it once again to show you all how it works and how to install it okay so first of all you need to download the link from the description you need to download the ROM from the link in the description and that link will take you to uh, the site from where you need to download this whole ROM it's about 1.3 GB and you need to download that uh, and, and you need to place it somewhere on your SD card or internal memory wherever you like so I've already installed, uh, I've already downloaded it and uh, placed it on my SD card and this is the zip file DN3 version 4 RC2 and this is the ROM by Electron Team. So this ROM is the Samsung Galaxy S5 ported features ROM. So every feature from Samsung Galaxy S5 is ported into it. You can see the notification bar and all. For the complete review of this ROM, go into the uh, video on YouTube. The link is there in the description. I have given the full review of this ROM and what are uh, features, what all features are available in this ROM. Each and every feature I have given in that review. So if you want to see that review, go there and uh, watch that video. Now uh, the, to begin the procedure, first of all you need to place it into the folder as I sh uh, told you right now. Now once you do that, go into the recovery mode by pressing the volume up button, the power button and the home button simultaneously together. So it will take you to the recovery. Keep holding it till you see the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 logo and then release this, release the keys. Okay, one more thing I want to tell you. For this you need TWRP 2.7 recovery. The version 2.7 is a must or higher because uh, the previous versions were not working. I tried with them. Only version 2.7 was working. So for the link, the link for this uh, TWRP recovery also I will be giving in the description. Go and download it and install it. Click on install, select the TWRP recovery from whichever recovery you are, Phil's recovery or Clockwork Mod recovery, doesn't matter. Click on install, click check the uh, zip file of this recovery which, you, which uh, you will download from the link and then the recovery will change to TWRP 2.7 recovery. So uh, once you have this recovery and the DN3 zip file, uh, everything is uh, done, the prerequisites are there. So the installing the ROM, the procedure is like this, go into the wipe. This is the first step, okay. Go into wipe and do swipe to factory reset. Okay, once you do that, go back. Now go into advanced wipe. From here, select Dalvik catch, catch, system and data and then swipe. So what it will do it, it, it will actually clear all the catch and all the uh, used up uh, things which are there in the memory to make your ROM uh, usable after you install it. Otherwise it will go into a boot loop. So this is a this uh, first step is a must. Now once you do that, go back. Click on this icon over here and go back. Once again, go back. Now we need to go into this install option and from here, I will, I, I'm already on my external SD card so if you have you, you you have to place it on your SD card and from there you will see the zip file because you have placed it over here so click on it and then swipe it swipe to confirm flash yes and then uh, the procedure will start so uh, this will take about uh, around uh, three to f uh, four to five minutes to install so once it's installed, okay, I'll be coming back. The flashing of the ROM is complete. So you can see over here it's written successful. And it's written, uh, all, all these things are written, the procedure which, uh, which was done uh, for installing this ROM. So once this is done, click on wipe catch Dalvik over here, just for safety measures, so that your memory is completely clean and you won't have any problem later. Click on back then, 
once it done and then click on reboot system the screen will go off and the note to logo will come the note to logo should not stay for a long time it will take around 30 or 30 to 40 seconds and the Samsung logo will arrive so the Samsung logo has arrived already and as this is the first boot it will take some time once it done we'll come back hey guys we are back the logo went off around, uh, by uh, within around five minutes okay so now we are over here on the start screen uh, select your uh, appropriate language from here and then click on next all the procedure as usual the procedures you know okay so all these procedures uh, follow the procedures and once it's done we are coming back once again So guys we are here on the start screen the first time we have booted the smartphone after installing this ROM and you can see the Samsung Galaxy S5 ROM working flawlessly over here this is the magazine and all this is the Samsung Galaxy S5 ROM goodness guys uh, team electron have given one more fix for this ROM there were some minor bugs in the ROM so uh, you need to ins you need to flash one more file and uh, that file you need to download it from the link which I'll be giving you down in the description this is the file AIO underscore fix and you can see this name this is a zip file and this will fix some minor bugs in the ROM like some there was some ringtone uh, ringtone bug and something like that so uh, download it and place it on your external SD card and now since you have installed the ROM already click on this power button click on restart and click on recovery and click on OK so it will take you to the recovery so here we are in the recovery team win uh, TWRP's 2.7 recovery now click on install go into the select the file which I showed you right now to place it on your external SD card so since we are on the external SD card will be you will get your file over here this is the AIO file it's a zip file and it's a fix for some bugs click on it and then swipe to flash and it's done after you flash it, click on wipe catch slash Dalvik and swipe. And once it's done, go back and then hit reboot system. So now the Samsung logo will come. And uh, the first boot after this flash of this fix file. It shouldn't take much time. So once we are on the start screen, we'll come to you back. The phone is starting right now. And you can see it took around two to three minutes. And we are on the start screen. So again, I'm uh, telling you is uh, for if you're if you're interested in watching the full review of this ROM, go in the description and go to the link of the video. I've given the full review and each and everything in detail. And uh, also this ROM is not having the S health from the Galaxy S5 and also the new messaging app from the Galaxy S5 this is the old one the old messaging app if you are interested on in installing the new messaging app and the new S health app both videos are there on YouTube the links are there in the description go in the description and install it so enjoy this ROM guys this is totally S5 ROM and you won't have any problems with this it's really a nice ROM try it out and if you have any queries put them down in the comment section and uh, I hope you like this video click the thumbs up button subscribe to our channel and share this video and hope to see you in the next video guys